Back to your regular. That one name. Seat Mampi. Your seat Mampi. Mampi. Me no want do it Mampi. God no. Your seat Mampi. Seat there. Your seat Mampi. Mampi. See it? Me tell you in a Mampi. Last night I seen. Eating dark. He lord. See, Mampi, Mampi, then, 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 me know I see a seat. Me know for sure I see a seat, Mampi. You see me, me know for sure I see you see them, see them, then, then, then. You see them, Mampi? Look, Mampi, you see them, then, 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 Mampi. I too no much about it last night, Mampi. Oh, God, Mampi, you sing sweet. Why you hear you see, Mama? I want you hear it. It's bad. Full of effect, mama. You say, I'm a chap one out of it, you know. Hmm? Mampi, I dear. Me don't want to chop one right now, but me can't chop one for you right now, Mampi. Sorry. You see it. Full of effect, Mampi. I tell me, I tell you. Last night, problem. You know, division conducted a intelligence-led target operation around 2.30 p.m. today in the Trialites area of Spanish Town, St. Catherine, in search of Kenneth Stewart, who was charged for murder, and he's also an escapee from the Black River lockups in St. Elizabeth, which took place sometime in June of this year. He was seen and accosted and also taken into custody is also his baby mother who also will be charged for harboring a fugitive. Just want to remind the public that harboring a fugitive is a criminal offence and so we are asking the public to cooperate with the police. Call the police as soon as any of these escapees are seen. I wish to use this medium to appeal to our citizens not only in the parish of St. Elizabeth, but right across Jamaica, to share any information that you may have on the remaining escapees. On the 19th of June, eight persons broke out of the Black River lockup. Two of them are now back in state custody, and the others remain at large. You may share your information with 119, Crime Stop at 311, or the nearest police station. Investigations span across several geographic divisions. And as we continue to gather intelligence, I wish to appeal to the remaining escapees to consult with an attorney and to surrender peacefully to the police and to allow the rule of law and the justice system to take its course. If not, it is just a matter of time before you will be captured and brought to answer to the charges. One of eight prisoners who escaped from the Black River Police Station lockup in St. Elizabeth on June 19 of this year, was captured by the police at a bar in Buena Vista near Myersville in the parish on Saturday afternoon. At the time he fled jail, Brown was charged with robbery with aggravation. The accused, who is from middle quarters in the parish, is said to be in his 30s. Reports from the police are that about 5 p.m., Brown was seen at the bar, where he was taken into custody. Several of the eight escapees were on murder charges, including one relative to a quadruple killing. The jailbreak resulted in several immediate changes to the management and supervision of the St. Elizabeth Police Division. Among the prominent police officers who were affected was Superintendent Kenneth Chin, who was removed as head of the St. Elizabeth Police to take up duties at the Area 5 headquarters. He was replaced by Deputy Superintendent Coleridge Minto, who is still serving in the position. Since then, the police have been hunting for the escapees without success until Saturday. Among the escapees are Anward Kirkheath Hines, who was expected to stand trial in the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court in July for a quadruple murder. Hines was charged in relation to the murders of four farmers, Archibald Brown, 60, 
his brother, George Brown, 57, Maurice Sanderson, 40, and Ezra Wright, 73. The men were killed in the remote community of Claremont in northern St. Elizabeth on May 27, 2015. At the time of the murders, the police said Hines was believed to have been the leader of a gang which was a remnant of the infamous St. James-based Stone Crusher gang. Hines was apprehended in July 2015 when he was found hiding in the ceiling of a house in Hatfield, Manchester. There have been reports that since escaping custody he has been spotted in St. James on several occasions, but he remains at large. Hines also has a case to answer in the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court on a four-count indictment relating to a shooting incident on January 19, 2015 in Breadnut Walk, St. Elizabeth. Those cases remain on hold because he is now a fugitive. The other detainees who escaped along with Hines include Oral Cole, 31, from Comfort Hall, Manchester, Ulrich Hutchinson, 38, from Brighton District, St. Elizabeth, and Dean Simpson, 34, from Turner Top, St. Elizabeth, who were all charged with robbery with aggravation. There are also Javon Sims, 25, from Copperwood, St. James, and Kenneth Stewart, 30, from Beacon Hill, St. Catherine, who were both remanded on murder charges, and Damar Williams, 29, from Gravel Heights in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, who is facing a shooting with intent charge.